in this video we are going to talk about grid view uh, now grid view is a control uh, that is used to populate the data in the tabular format for example if you have a uh, list of records coming in from the database and you want to display those records on the web page then you can use this grid view control and that will basically help you to to, to list the data in the tabular format so in 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 the in this grid view series we are first going to learn how to populate grid view uh, from the code behind so in order to do that let us first create one aspx page code so here is my aspx uh, uh, page code so in the aspx first we are writing simple grid view there is nothing into it so i can simply write it like this also asp grid view id equal to grid view 1 run it equal to server and that's it and then now let me create the server side code so in the server side code we have uh, underscore con str uh, variable that will have basically the uh, database connection string coming in from the web.config file you can see that this is con str coming uh, coming with the help of configuration manager dot con connection string and it being stored into underscore con str variable and then uh, in the page load let me copy paste the entire code from here now here what we are doing is that uh, please hold on for a while yes now here what we have done is that we have called get data method when this page will be loaded for the first time so when this page will be loaded for the first time then naturally it will not be each post back so so when it is not each post back then fire the or execute the get data method and in this get data method what we have done is that we have instantiated the data table and then we have instantiated the sql connection by passing the con database connection string and we are using here select statement here here in this demonstration i have used the, the inline st st select statement it means that i am writing the uh, select uh, sql select statement in the c sharp code itself in ideally in the real time project you should use stored procedure and i have uh, uh, demonstrated how to use stored procedure in a separate video that is under edio.net video series then uh, once we have the sql statement with us then what we have done is that we have instantiated the sql command by passing the sql statement and the database connection and then we have instantiated the sql uh, data adapter by passing the sql command object once we have the adapter object then we can call the fill method and pass the ta data table object because we have we have only one select statement here so naturally data table object is the ideal way to use instead of using data set data set is generally used when you have multiple select statement into the sql or coming in from the stored procedure then you can use data set otherwise if you have only one select statement or only one result set coming in from the database then you can use simple data table once we have the data table then what we can do is that we can write grid view one dot data source is equal to the table so this this will basically set the data source of the grid view as the table and then we will call dot data bind method so grid view dot data bind method, method actually what it does is that it it reads through the rows of the, this this data table and bind them in the grid view so if we will have uh, so for example here we have 1 2 3 4 and 5 co uh, column returning from the uh, database then what what it will do is that it will create five columns and whatever number of rows will be returned from the database it will create that many rows and it will populate those records on the web page so let me show you how it is looking like so when i am running this page you can see that uh, it will basically list the data from the personal detail table and populate into the page in the form of table you can see here if i am going to the source code of this page you will notice that now here you can see that uh, i have all the records listed here in the form of table okay the next how to is uh, how to sort the grid view data so just now we saw that how to populate the grid view now in the next how to we are going to see that how to sort the data in case we need to sort the grid view data then how to do that so in order to do that we have again uh, uh, created one grid view on the aspx space so here is my grid view 
now let me walk you through all the uh, extra property that I have added here so I have added on sort on sorting event and that will basically execute the sort records uh, server side method and then we have set allow sorting equal to true when we set allow sorting equal to true what it does is that it basically convert the header of the uh, column into the link so that it will it will become clickable and then we have specified data key names data key names is generally the primary key of your uh, data source in in our case the primary key of, of our data source is the auto id see here the personal detail table having auto id as the primary key so that's our unique key we can say so that's what you can specify the data key names now once we have then then uh, now let us uh, populate the uh, server side uh, code so for that we have naturally a database connection string first in the code behind you can see here again it is doing the same thing it is retrieving the uh, con str from the web.config file and then we have this much of code let me just first frame this uh, code and then I will explain all of them here so yes that's it now let me correct it one by one so first what we have is that we have this page load okay fine and then we have protected via sort records and let me see if there is any problem here looks like there is no problem here and here we have this and then that's it now you can see that my all code is looking good okay fine so everything is looking good now let me just align them properly and yes now let's try to understand the code from the beginning under the page load event if it is not each post back then we are calling the bind data method and this bind data method will again here we are going uh, here we are going to call the get data method and this get data method will basically instantiate that sql connection uh, fire the select statement and that will basically retrieve all the records from the personal detail table and it will return this data table so get data is basically returning the data table that is being filled using the data adapter and this data table is being uh, specified at a data source so because this get data is returning data table so this data uh, so that return data table will be specified as a data source of the get view and then we have called the data bind method that will basically actually bind the uh, data from this data table to the get view now once we have the uh, the records binded into the grid view then because of this allow sorting what it does is that it it creates it converts the header of the uh, column into the link so let me first run this page so here is my page you can see now you can notice here that all the headers uh, of the column is has been converted into the link because of this allow sorting equal to true and when we will click this these links then what happens is this on sorting event fires so now let us go to the on sort uh, on sorting event that will basically execute sort records method so here is my sort sort records method yes in this sort record method the second parameter will be give you sort event arguments and using that uh, event argument we can get the sort expression now sort expression will be nothing but the field name so in this case auto id in this case first name last name is an active so once we have the sort expression then what we can do is that we can check for the sort direction now there can be two way sorting one can be the in the ascending order and another can be into the descending order so first we are determining that uh, whatever sorting is existing currently that is in the ascending order or in the in the descending order so if it is in the ascending order then we are uh, writing that okay if it is ascending then change it to the descending order okay and if it is uh, descending order then change to ascending order 
and then we have a direction uh, uh, string variable and based on that we we are, ch are specifying the value for this direction variable so if it is a sending order then I am writing direction equal to DESC if it is descending order then we are writing uh, direction is equal to AC means ascending I will show you what is the use of this later on now once we have that then what we can do is that we can again uh, uh, call the get data method because we will have to repopulate the data so we are calling the data, uh, get data method that will basically return the data table as you can see here this get data method is returning data, data table here and then now because we have to sort it so we can sort using the sort expression so in this case uh, if we will uh, click on the first name then this sort expression will be the first name so we have used the default uh, data view so table dot table object dot default view dot sort is equal to sort expression so sort expression in case we will uh, click on first name the sort expression will be first name and then direction if it is already ascending order then sort into the descending order and if it is descending order then sort into the ascending order so it will basically toggle the toggle the sort uh, uh, sorting of the of that particular column and then once we have the data sorted then we are specifying the data table as the data source of the gate view and then we have bounded the date uh, the gate view now here I had missed one very important point is the sort direction now this sort direction is nothing but a property here and what we are doing is that if the current field is being sorted into the ascending order then sort that that into the descending order and if it is in the descending order then sort that into the ascending order so what this sort direction is doing is that it is basically storing the current state of the sort direction into the view state and if this sort direction uh, property is being set to the value then it is storing into the view state and if it is in being retrieved from the view state then it is it, then that view state data is being unboxed into the sort direction object and it is being returned here uh, this is very important point because if you will not use this uh, sort direction mechanism to store into the view state you will not be able to toggle the sorting directions so let me run this page and you will notice that when I will run this page what happens is that uh, uh, all, all the columns are treated as the ascending order first so now let me click on the first name link when we will click on the first name link then you will notice that it has been sorted into the descending order because for the first time all the all the columns are treated as ascending so once it is ascending then we are changing the sort direction to descending and we are specifying direction equal to DESC so naturally th this the record of uh, record of this particular table will be sorted into the uh, descending order on the first name uh, column because we had clicked the first name now when we will again click first name then what happens we sort the uh, first name column in the ascending order because it was already into the descending order so it had just exchanged so it has sorted into the descending order so this is the way to basically uh, sort the records into the grid view